How are guys? Thank you for tuning in. We got a mess, but what we are doing here is trying to build exhaust for this uh, 250 Yamaha. They don't make much aftermarkets, and usually you can get a custom exhaust, but it's pretty pricey. So we picked up these for my buddy. He's Harley Davidson Dragster Pipes. You can get them off eBay for like 70 bucks, and a stock exhaust. So with a welder, a cutoff wheel, and some imagination, we are going to try to make pipes for this bike. So the first thing I done planned out and mapped for this setup on this bike, I'm going to get rid of this. Either I'm going to bring the pipes out from the bottom and around on the back for this back cylinder, or I'm going to bring it through here. But either way, this ugly piece of metal needs to go now. It will not be used anymore. So I'm going to take a cutoff wheel, clean it up real nice, and cut it off. And then uh, just uh, touch it up with some black paint. So let me get started. Okay guys, I didn't use a cutoff wheel. Now when you're cutting this, make sure you put a wag over your vent tube, this little tube here, or something over it. So, uh, you don't get no metal shavings down in the engine. I used actually a uh, old school with test saw. Been through hell, but still works good. And here's the piece I cut off. And now we got the opening. Either we will use this, or either we'll bring the pipe down. Well, I guess we need to decide, don't we? So let's get some bins and see what we got going on and come up with a game plan. Well, what we got going on here is I used a factory stock pipe from the Yamaha 250 and I cut right here at the silencer. If you guys can see, I cut the pipe directly at the end of the silencer just so I can uh, butt up and weld a new type of exhaust onto it. Now I ain't figured out where I'm going to bring the bottom pipe yet. I don't know if I'm going to actually feed it through this opening we made or just drop it straight down and out. I actually might do it straight down and under. Might give the bike a cleaner look and more of a bobbed look with custom exhaust. But uh, I'm going to take a break. It is sunny out and uh I will turn back and we see what we can do. Okay guys, interesting fact, they got a little bitty pipe in a bigger dummy pipe. Ain't that cool? This is actual pipe to your header. This is just decoration. So, this is actual size of your front pipe too. The cool thing is, we can just drill holes in this and spot weld it onto the existing pipe and make it pretty and look all the same size. But what I'm going to do here, this has none of that, but this is long enough section of pipe here that's this side. It shouldn't affect it. We're going to, since I found that out, I'm going to reuse that, bend it where I need it, the way I want it, and then just uh, cut and flip me some of this on it. Well, you all see in the video. Just keep watching. But uh, what we're going to do here is I'm going to finish angling this and cutting it. And I'm going to angle them kind of up. Just like this, and one the other one coming under and up. So, uh, that gives me this little guy here to make a bracket to help hold my exhaust. So I'm going to finish, uh, just going to cut this up a little bit better, put a cool angle on it, and tack weld it on, and start working on the bottom of the pipe. Okay guys, here's what we got so far on the exhaust fitment. It's looking pretty good. I just got everything jointed together. I ain't got the welds cleaned up. I just test fitting. But uh, I will clean them up as I weld, mark them, and just go around them with a dot grinder and weld them up. Uh, down here, I got to, you know, angle this a little bit better. It's got a big gap here. Uh, we get to that here in a minute. I just test fitting everything. And I think I'm happy with the way it turned out. Especially with the bottom front fender and the way the pipes are going. Now, I did keep this pipe. I had to do a little fitment in it, but uh, I did take it down this way and then start right here. This kept some of the back compression by keeping this uh, longer stock pipe. We wrap it in head of wrap, and I don't think anybody ever noticed. But uh, yeah, that should uh, keep all the back pressure because it runs actually down inside this tube like this factory tube i just got tacked held on it runs all the way down to here 
So I should keep out of the back pressure and then they come out right here, open exhaust. Just like from the factory, somewhat like from the factory. But now I got them all fitted and tacked on. I'm gonna mark them, clean them up, weld one on at a time, and uh, we mount them, listen what it sounds like, and then we'll probably do a head lap video soon. So let me go ahead and uh, weld these pipes up and then I get back with you. Okay guys, here's the 250's exhaust. Now, uh, we do got a little bit of, I used a flux core, so the welds ain't going to be too pretty, but they do the job. Flux core is the best thing to pack around with you when you don't want to pack gas. does okay. But anyway, here's the exhaust. I still got to make a bracket to connect these two, and that uh, should level them out a little bit more. Just a little bit over. Maybe kick this in the end just a little bit. A little bit of adjustment. A bracket take care of that. I'm going to build it to come up to here to here. And then I'm going to take the headers back off and do a header wrap video that's coming soon. But let's see what they sound like. I ain't never heard this 250 without them pop. Let's see. Here we go. Okay, guys. Sounds better. Needs a little bit of adjustment. Probably needs to be jetted. Cause when you do do these corporal, uh, do these, uh, when you do these bikes like this, you clean up a lot of exhaust and you go on lean. So that's most likely what the popping is about. But uh, no biggie. We can always rejet it. But there's a, sometimes you don't even have to rejet it. i show you how. Sometimes you can go in here, back this out about a half ton. This is your enrichment screw. See if we can get to it with this. Boo. Just a quarter of a ton, and it did away with the popping. We did not have to reject the bike, just had to mess with the mixture screw just a tad. But yeah, I think it turned out great turn it off those uh, 250 Yamaha sounds a whole lot media the pipes actually look great once I get the brace on them and the head wrap they I think they uh, be awesome but uh, if you are looking to do your 250 like this and you want to use your stock pipes you can pick those uh, I think these Harley Davidson pipes that we used today that we hacked up was around 70 bucks on eBay. I think that's what my buddy said. They ain't a high dollar set of pipes. I basically got them given to me. They was used. And that saved me a whole lot of money. And it just took me an afternoon to actually build the exhaust. And if you ain't never done this before, get help with your buddies that have. Or find somebody that has. If you got a pipe bender, just you can buy the pipe. And just bend it yourself. Just use your ends. But uh, if you do add... You're gonna be out a lot more money because they sell pipe by the foot but if you're gonna do let's say a perfect bike and you want one even bend then go for it you know buy the tube and bend it buy a bender bend it yourself but if you're going for something that's gonna be wrapped in the head of wrap like we are doing this bike then it don't matter if you weld on your stainless chrome putty pipes it sure don't but uh all in all give it thumbs up 
it should run a whole lot better <coughs> well I hope it does it should for 250 it sounds a whole lot meaner now uh guys thank you for watching i hope you found this video helpful if you listen to me ramble on all the way to this part please subscribe to the channel and drop a like drop a comment let me know what you think about this video and give me some ideas on building this bike i got all kinds in my head you know it's just a matter of time to get to do them so uh until the next video i hope you enjoy this hack and flash exhaust video